managed to flatten out and mount all of the duct tape onto this board. And then one of the first things I've done on there is I've got myself a long metal ruler and Don't be surprised if that falls over. And what I've done, the first thing I wanted to do is I need to get some critical measurements from the physical world. Um, so what I've done is I have drawn a line from one side to the other. And that line, basically, it starts on the very tips of, of this design. So as you can see, I've started it on the very tip of this design and the other side of the line that boundary is on the is on the tip of that piece there and what I've done is I've added the critical measurement which is 790 millimeters at the bottom of the drawing and then I've done exactly the same process by drawing a line from the bottom to the top again using the actual physical placement of the very upper piece of this pattern and the very lowest piece of this pattern. So essentially, what I've got is I've created a frame that precisely contains all my pieces, okay? I have added on to my pattern, as you can see in pencil, hopefully. I've added on to my pattern all my overlapping Again, according to uh, the last module, the additional edges that you're gonna want, knowing from the marks that you've made on the master pattern, what's gonna go under, what's gonna go over, what's gonna be stitched, etc. So at this point, I have got my master, my master pattern. This is my very first master pattern. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do now is you're gonna to wanna to get a camera. Now, this, this is just, this is a GoPro, which obviously I have mounted just out of screenshot for when I'm doing an overhead demonstration that I'll be doing in tools and builds and so on. Um, doesn't matter what, you can use your phone, you can use a proper camera, I say proper camera, given how things have gone these days. Yeah, you can use your phone. That's gonna do a, a more than good enough photo. And what you're looking to do is position the camera absolutely perfectly above your card. So essentially what I normally do, and you can't see it on my floor, but I've got that on the floor and I've positioned the camera directly over the top of the, the pattern so that I can see all the boundaries within that photo making sure that you keep your camera as level and as central as possible, okay? And then take a picture, it's that simple. That's the first stage is taking a picture. And that is ultimately, that, that's, that picture, if you were to print it out because of the resolution of your camera or whatever, it's gonna be, it isn't gonna be this size. But the point is, is that because we've got these critical dimensions, marked on the card, you're always going to know how big it really should be.